Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Com. In this video, we'll take a look at the JSON support in Oracle Database 12C. No new data type has been added to support JSON. Instead, it's stored in a regular varchar2 or club column. The addition of the isJSON constraint indicates the column contains valid JSON data. By default, the constraint only enforces lax JSON syntax. Adding the strict qualifier will make it enforce strict JSON syntax. With the table in place, it's possible to insert data into the JSON column just like any other varchar2 or club column. In this row, the JSON document includes a phone and a Twitter element. In this second row, the contact details are missing a Twitter element and the phone element has no value. The presence of the isJSON constraint means that invalid JSON will cause an error during insert or update. Provided the column has an isJSON constraint, the individual elements of the JSON document can be referenced directly from SQL using dot notation. Without a column alias, the parent element name is presented as the column name. With an alias in place, you get the name you ask for. If a non-scalar value is referenced, the result is returned as a JSON fragment. Here we're creating a test table without the isJSON constraint. Without the constraint, we can insert JSON and non-JSON data into the column. The missing constraint means we can't use dot notation, but we can return an element value using the JSON value function. Notice both rows were returned, even though one doesn't contain JSON. The isJSON condition allows us to target only those rows that contain JSON. Not surprisingly, you can use isNotJSON to target those rows that don't. When using dot notation, it isn't possible to tell the difference between an element that's missing or one that's present but has a null value. The JSON exists condition allows us to make a distinction between empty and missing elements. Using not JSON exists allows us to test for missing elements. As we saw previously, the JSON value function returns an element from a JSON document based on a specified JSON path. By default, it returns null for non-scalar values. If you need to, you can force it to return an error instead. JSON value converts Boolean values to strings or numbers depending on the parameters you use. The JSON query function returns a JSON fragment representing one or more values. JSON table allows us to project columns onto a JSON document. The columns clause allows you to associate each column with a specific JSON path. In this example, we use JSON table to create a view, so we can now query that view to see the data. JSON table can be used to bring back a combination of scalar and non-scalar data. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. So whenever you whenever you're ready. Okay. That's come. That's come. That's come. <laughs>